Spend you ain't have you ain't have any gang block. problems when you was in the. I you always was in had jail? gang problems. Yes, I always had gang problems. I'm a, see that's the problem when you in jail. When you become when you know some when people know you for being a ten vocals and you're a gang member, they you become a big plate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I know. People, and I'm and I'm coming out here so I letting you know I did great. You know what I'm saying? That's I one of the things I heard about you when I was coming up. There's like this, there's like yo, there's this gangster blood singing, making remixes to crazy songs, Michael Jackson but songs. Guess what? Me being a gangster or what y'all ever gonna call me a stand up guy, that shit ain't got me nothing but jail time. I was away from my family. I had to come from Sing Sing to to see my grandmother die. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, like, like I was like I was looked at as a black sheep. Yeah, it, it made me who I am today. Or well, some people don't even know me as what I was back then. They just know me as a singing dancing guy because I'm cool in my life now. But don't get it fucked up. I'm still him. I just don't have to bring it. How'd you get it? How'd you get in the? How'd you get into the whole gang shit? Honestly, everybody gets in differently. Some people born into it. Some people get jumped into the shit. Well, and I, some people don't even respect the blood shit. The New York shit. The West Coast people don't even respect some of the, some of the. Well, New York let me keep it a stack because I've been on the West Coast and they respect. I know a lot of West Coast blood. They respect us. Is, is the fact that we don't tap in with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Cause they originators. That's where it came from. You know what I'm saying? And then be that most niggas over here just think, oh, we just East Coast bloods. And they try to separate it. But some niggas do. Like some hoods still originate from back over there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you still gotta tap in. We mostly tapped in. You know what I'm saying? I'm Brent. You know what I'm saying? I'm Bloodhound Brent. So I know what's going on. They respect us on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Like I understand. I became blood when I was a little kid, 13 years old. It was a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? We had to take. You was 13 years old when you when you first joined the gang? Facts. How, how, like, it was just people that you was hanging out with all the time? Your friends? Or like Not even just friends. Like, like it's going to school. It's just, it was around. Like, like how blood's moving around now wasn't how, like, it was niggas walking around the street mobbing. I'm talking about thousands of niggas walking around red flags. You know what I'm saying? Back when they was slicing open your face, buck 50 exactly. on Halloween for initiation type exactly. shit. Exactly. Not every, that's going to go over a lot of heads, but if you know, you know. Like, it's, it's like, I... I remember it was wild. Cause it really happened for oppression, cause you know, not to disrespect, cause I, I really fuck with uh, Spanish guys, but the Latin Kings was oppressing people. You know what I'm saying? They was not letting us use the phones in jail. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Back so there, there was a lot of like racial disparities. Yeah, like, you like not even that they, they like, it was a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just think about it. Them niggas back in the days, niggas don't remember the Puerto Rican David Ray. The Latin Kings used to march. That's a fact. I, like they used to march. Yeah, they was part of the parade. Y'all knew that? <laughs> they was part of the parade. <laughs> they had that much power in the streets and they had that much power in jail, even more in jail. Like to where we couldn't do anything. Black people were like, we were like the dogs. Understand? Like we couldn't even get on the phone, we couldn't eat, we couldn't do nothing. We had to go to commissary. They had to give us, listen, it was bad for us. So we formed the Bloods on this side. All right, so, on, so, that's fucking crazy as hell. You don't think it's uh all this crazy gang violence? Like you don't think the blood stick to, together the way the Latin Kings stick together? Because it sounds like they are forced to be reckoned with in jail. But when I hear on oh, the story, well, like I said, blood I was to talking, you asked me about past tense. Uh huh. <laughs> We're speaking nowadays. We are notorious in jail. <laughs> yeah. There's no other gang bigger on the on the East Coast. Let me keep it the East Coast thing uh-huh. because the West Coast, you know, the Crips is they they're just there. They're bigger anywhere. But on this East Coast, especially New York, in any jail in New York, there's no gang bigger than the Bloods. Crips are only lit in the streets. Yeah. But I'm saying, there's no gang bigger than the blood. Bloods. Bloods, we, we out there. You're not, not going to go to no place in jail not find a home. Crip niggas got to live in one house. Why you think Bobby Smurda came home with them niggas don't live in jail. You ain't got them, them niggas ain't come home saying no jail tells. How they cut niggas? How they do nothing? Cause they can't. It's, you only could know if you know. But I'm not the person to be telling and doing other. That's why these niggas don't have these type of come. They come home different because it was a different life to live in there. Society was there for six years or however long they was there, and it wasn't the same as them being home. Me, I was great. I lived the same way. Body shape different, but I don't want to keep talking about that. All right, all right, no problem. 